Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Tuesday the 9th of September. Thanks again for watching. Um, we got high pressure and control over the next few days as I'm sure you're already aware. There it is, look, centred over the British Isles this morning and it looks as if it is going to continue uh, to be in position over the uh, next few days and certainly into next week. I mean, just look, you see the sequence there, it just shows the high constantly being there. Interesting to note that the isobars do tend to become closer together across southern parts of the country heading into the weekend. So there is going to be an increase in that easterly wind. And I think what that's going to be doing, particularly if you're a farmer, it will drag more moisture out the top layers of the soil. And uh, that easterly, I think, really is uh, going to be bringing some very, very dry conditions. Um, and looks as if it stays dry into next week as well. Just some hints, look, of some showers developing into the middle part of next week uh, across the southwest of the country through uh, through Ireland and then uh, down through into the far southwest of England and uh, I think what that's going to do uh, is um, produce the, I suppose the right recipe for things to be turning more mixed into the middle of next week. Big, big uncertainties though as to exactly when it takes place, although at the moment we're kind of thinking with a question mark it's probably going to be a Wednesday um, that we start to see that change taking place. So there are hints of things changing as we head into um, the middle stages of next week. And of course that then has implications as to what happens beyond that. Um, this is the analog chart. Actually I'll show you that in just a moment. Let me show you the CFS first of all so we can get an idea as to where that is going. Um, this is the CFS week one forecast then valid from the 9th of September through to the 15th and you notice here look higher than normal heights across the north of the country during this week low than normal look down towards the southwest which is of course what we're seeing at the moment into week two so going from the 16th of September through to the 22nd of September uh, you notice that we get this uh, idea of the low than normal heights look starting to build down towards the south edging their way northwards look and the high gradually being pushed further north so these indications coming in from the CFS as well of this gradual breakdown particularly across more southern parts of the country and then that change kind of just edging its way northwards as we go through the course of next uh, of next week into the back end of next week then we get into um, the week three and week four and what this one is then shown is that the ridge builds out towards the east here look so there's our ridge we've got a trough though that is out in the Atlantic and probably what happens is that our low that's down here the low that normal heights just get absorbed into this feature in the Atlantic and what that does is it creates a trough out in the Atlantic with a ridge out towards the east so it's hinting that actually although conditions become more mixed and more unsettled middle part of next week through into the back end of the week actually by the time uh, we're getting into the following week into the 23rd then uh, we start to see conditions improving again from the east as those lower than normal heights out towards the west start to retreat again and then look by week four it's doing this by week four it actually says well the higher than normal heights are back look across the country high pressure is back in and we've seen a return to uh, the dry conditions certainly the CFS leaning very very heavily into that scenario but it's not a scenario that's agreed on by everybody but let's just see what else what are the backup have we got here well this is the analog chart uh, for day eight so this is centered on the 17th so centered on next Wednesday and what this does is it gives us an automatic output of charts that were similar on these days so our top one here look is for September uh, in 1984 so this is a forecast for eight days time and at that time it was predicting a trough look out here off the uh, west of Portugal Ridge through the British Isles. So what happened in the following 14 day period in 1984? So what you have to think here is that we're going to forecast through to eight days in advance. So this is going to be up to next uh, Wednesday. So this is kind of uh, next Wednesday, so the 17th. And then we're looking at the two week period beyond that to see what happened. And 
this is the comparison for 1984. So you see what happened, look, it went far more unsettled during those next two weeks. This idea of the uh, cold pool look, moving its way northwards seems to have been supported here. And then in the other year that's shown on this map, which is uh, 1987, this is what happened in 87. These are the mean heights for the following two weeks. So this is from, uh, from where we are now. This is day 14 through to day 28. And you notice here, look, it's got low the normal heights again. It went way more unsettled. But interesting to see, look, high the normal heights up here towards the northeast getting squeezed away, look. So a very, very similar pattern to the one that we're seeing this year. So that was 1987. Then in 1969, that happened completely the opposite you know we saw yeah high the normal heights but look they're out here towards the east we've got low the normal heights up towards the west and there we picked up a more southwesterly flow and a far more settled southwesterly flow as well for most areas although scotland and ireland would have been wet on that scenario but the year that's more similar to this one at the moment is 1987 uh, because that's the one that shows the squeeze up towards the north so it'd be interesting to focus on exactly what happened in 87 through October. Um, the MJO uh, looking like this. So the MJO now, uh, the CFS MJO, bringing us through phase five and then out into phase six, brings us out phase five around about the 30th of September. So it's bringing us out phase five then into phase six around the 30th. And a normal phase six in September looks like that. So that's phase six through September, and it tends to have high the normal heights out towards the west, low the normal heights off towards the east, and the October one actually looks very similar as well. But it's interesting though, because it too has that little low, uh, the little low heights off towards the southwest. So what it tends to do is to build a ridge and have it out towards the uh, west, while we get this plunge uh, down from the north uh, across much of the country. And phase six then for October, uh, looking like this. So phase six for October also keeps that trough out towards the uh, east. So we've got low, let's get rid of that. So we've got uh, lower than normal heights off towards the east, and we've got higher than normal heights here, look, off towards the west. So still that ridge in place, but it tends to bring in a cold pattern. So. You see the kind of conundrum that we're facing at the moment in terms of what happens through September and into the early parts of October. Well, this is kind of trying to build that uh, ridge back, isn't it, here. You see, it's trying to do something similar, but the, the, the patterns they are, are, not sh are not really falling in line at the moment. They're not quite gelling. So I think what we need to watch is what happens uh, during the next eight days to see exactly uh, how this thing is going to develop itself. Because at the moment, the CFS really goes opposite to what the, um, to what the phases are like and what your usual MJO phases bring, uh, given the current pattern. And that's what the CFS is doing in terms of the longer ranges. So these are the 200 millibar uh, anomalies. And for October, for October, look, we've got higher than normal 200 millibar anomalies. So it brings a ridge through us, and then it gets rid of the ridge into November and brings more of a trough down in towards the west and builds this ridge strongly though look out towards the east and in fact it does very uh, similar things through uh, December with keeping the high the normal heights up towards the north and low the normal through the UK so it certainly goes for a more unsettled December January although tries to keep this idea going of the high the normal heights through uh, through October and gradually eased them off through November. So perhaps we haven't seen the end of this uh, dry spell just yet. Um, I do think though we can go with the idea of more mixed middle to the end of next week and into the following weekend. What happens after that is very much up in the air. Um, CFS ideas of building back the high probably isn't that far wrong. I think the high settling back in end of September, early October, before then seeing a proper breakdown, I think, into that sort of scenario 
into um, the middle to latter stages of October, so probably from around the 10th of October onwards, starting to get into this colder northerly plunge. I think that's what we've got to watch for, is a, is a dramatic change taking place in October. Okay, well I think I've uh, probably uh, witted on for long enough for you, so I'm going to leave you with that for now. Don't forget, weatherweb.net is kept completely free of charge, because you keep coming back using the site, watching the videos, and using the various different charts. It means we put more adverts in front of you, which means we generate more money, which keeps us free of charge. So, uh, thank you for doing that, but whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day. Keep the sun shining, and bye for now.